Hey guys, uh, so in an effort to put off the big project I've been working on for the channel, as well as some big school stuff going on, I've been playing a lot of games on the side, which isn't all that unusual, but typically it's not a variety like this. So for this video, I'm going to share with you uh, four games that you've never played, but maybe you should give it a shot. I've picked out both games you can play by yourself or with friends, so whatever your thing is, it's probably here. Let's get into it. <laughs> Your face got thrusted on, respectfully. So, uh, first off, we've got a little game I found recently called Rounds. This game is a 1v1 battle, usually, but we'll get to that. And it's similar to Stick Fight, but you're these little balls that you can kind of customize and make your own. So it's like ball fight, basically. At the beginning of the game, you'll choose between five upgrades with 69 total upgrades in the base game. If you win two rounds, you'll get a point but the loser gets to choose another upgrade. This goes on until one person reaches five points. <laughs> Just with a map, I, I killed myself. The absolute nukage. God, dude, I, dude, the final round of this game, if we're tied, is always- Some of the upgrade combos in tandem with the map design makes for some of the absolutely most batshit insane games I've ever played of honestly anything. It's, it's nuts. Another big plus is that you can mod this game to shit. There's dozens of massive card packs made by players, map packs, mods that allow you to play infinitely, which means infinite upgrades, mods that add new modes and let you play with up to 16 people, and so many more. The beauty of the whole thing is that no matter what hand you get dealt, it's always going to be a blast. While the game seems rather small, that's fully reflected in the low price. Despite the low asking price and small download, I got a lot of playtime out of this game, which was genuinely very shocking to me. Rounds is a goddamn blast, especially if you have a friend to play it with. My crosshair's on you. There's no <laughs> obstacles in the way. This is gonna be beautiful. Watch. It's no not way. it's not even gonna shoot a straight line. It's gonna go like up. No it's way. gonna go diagonal. <laughs> Next up is a fun little single player game I've recently gone into. RoboQuest is an incredibly fast paced roguelike that you can play solo or pair up with a friend. This is another one of those games that sat in my wishlist for a while where every time I got bored I'd look at it for 10 minutes and ultimately choose not to spend the money. Fortunately for me, I caught it at a huge discount and snagged it on a rainy day. That day I proceeded to play 6 straight hours of RoboQuest completely alone with an ungodly large arsenal of weapons already, several very distinct levels, some solid bosses, and an unapologetically banging soundtrack, RoboQuest is just begging me to hop back in, and I'm pretty sure I heard it calling your name too. It's hard as a modern game developer to say with confidence that you made something unique, and while I do think that is still true in some departments here, this game is just so much fun that I don't even fucking care. You make your way through each stage as one of the four special classes gaining class-specific, ability-enhancing upgrades along the way. On top of all this, the devs clearly have some big ambitions for the future, with a roadmap that gives me so much hope. Almost a scary amount of hope, honestly, given the amount of false promises in, in video games nowadays. But anyways, the best way I saw people describe this game is like Risk of Rain and Doom, like all together, which is a pretty apt description. And that fucking, that hooked me. So uh, if you like those games or even just one of them, honestly, check this out or at least keep an eye on it. Wood. 
oh. space. We're fine. Okay, mine's up, mine's up. Counter, stop bombing us! Put the bomb away. Put the bomb ah! away. Unrailed is an absolute nightmare of a video game. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can play with up to four total people working together to build and place down tracks for a constantly moving train with no end in sight. To make matters worse, your train is constantly catching on fire, forcing you to make the run to a lake or something in order to put it out before all of your cars catch on fire. It might look like it was made for children ages four plus, but I can almost guarantee you that even Navy SEAL veterans feel inhuman levels of stress when they play this game. Nobody is safe. You travel through many areas, from a quaint little forest clearing, to the vast lengths of the Himalayan mountains, to, oh, hell, and of course, space, because why wouldn't you? This game is hilariously stressful, and a great time with friends. To sum it up, uh, Unrailed is great, if you've got some time on your hands, and are in need of a good party game for friends. Uh, I'm here! Oh my god, let go of them. Ready? Shut it off! Is that fucking baby Trump? What the fuck was that? That was, that was awful. Smoke. That was Bob Smoke? That I was... wanna go to bed, I wanna go to bed. That was the old deal. Can we cue baby Tron? Oh my yeah, god. I it. It, Stop it! It, <laughs> it fucking cues him talking Stop! every time. <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> what? That wasn't even me. I'm watching you and Mark. <laughs> it's Mark. It's Mark. It's Mark. It wasn't me. It was not Mark, me. Mark, what the uh, fuck, bro? This one's probably the strangest on the list just because it's the most different. Escape Simulator is exactly as it sounds. It is literally an escape room simulator. So I guess if you're lacking like 30 bucks or you're just watching this video when the real escape rooms are closed, then this might be a good alternative for you. Maybe not as captivating or entertaining as an actual escape room, but this game can be pretty funny. Like, Wait, right. he has another He has another thing he has to destroy. Hold on. Turn his laser back on. Spin him around. Get him on here. Stop I moving him. I can't spin him anymore. No, it's because I turned. You have to flip the rotation switch. He doesn't, it, he he doesn't spin because you're spinning him. Ow. Stop! <laughs> Who is messing with him? He's spinning. I don't see Dude, it. Stop. I just Connor, want to see Connor, the robot. Connor, destroy the fucking thing over here. <laughs> Dude. What thing? Uh, there's a bunch of maps in the base game, but if you run out, there are a comical amount of player-made maps on the Steam Workshop, and a very strange number of them being horror, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, I didn't play alone, but I'm sure if you're craving a good puzzle game, then this will be a good option for you. Me over, please. I'm so close. I'm so oh, close. Oh shit! Please. How? Please. I'm in the ceiling. I'm in the wall. How did you do? Wait, hold hey, on. Wait, what does this Connor. look like? How did you do that? Hey, oh! <laughs> He's completely gone. I'm in the vent. I'm in the vent. <laughs> what is he is the room. Oh shit! I don't. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> What did you do? Like, how did you? I don't know. I can't really explain it. Hey guys. What? How can you just? Wait, wait. <laughs> just Whoa. free rain. Whoa. Can, can I? Can I walk through this door? Do you think? This was definitely a surprise for me and my friends. So maybe you'll feel the same. So we should be Somebody counting bullseye on all of them. <laughs> Can somebody let me out? <laughs> You're fine! Can I please get a I waffle? I will end it right now. <gasps> Can I please get a waffle? I don't have the choice to let you out. Why are we putting the rooms in there? Why are there notes in there here? What's this oh, note? Because there's the lore of the map. I asked and honestly didn't care. So. No. Well, yeah, but no one, no, no one else said they didn't care. I just openly asked, no one else responded. So just... Do we need to count? Like, <laughs> what? Wait, what is that? <laughs> Holy shit, you're so big compared to him. Oh. Wait, guys. Wait, guys. I I found a lock with three numbers on it. <laughs> oh my god. You fucking... like that? You like that seven of spades? You like that? Why did they make the source of the music this corner? <laughs> I don't Whoa. know. It's so loud. I think the teacup room has. This is fucking torture. 
thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed or maybe found a new game to play. Um, but again, thanks so much for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one.